exercise your head. Read. Gooster is brought to you in part by Nike. Additional buffs that keep our team supreme come from public television viewers like you and me. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The John Dean Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. The Pew Charitable Trust. And the U.S. Department of Education. But you can't say it all in breath. I bet you can. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Be that way. I'll fix you, Cosmic Comics. Rejection. You're bad. Rejection. Yuck. Reject Stoop Doo. The mighty monster jamming Stoop Doo. Well, reject this meatball. And as for your Hoodman comic book contest, it's me who's gonna win. Stoop doo. <laughs> we don't know where he came from. He just showed up one night. What is that thing? He's not an alien. What is he? We think he might be a ghost. Be serious. You can see that? He wants to be friends with us. But he can't hear and he can't talk. He can read anything. He takes letters and he writes with them. We're the only ones who can see him. That means he wants you on the team. You have to promise never to tell anybody about Ghost Rider. Hey, cool. We're the Ghost Rider team. We check out clues and solve mysteries. He's a ghost and he writes to us. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. What a trip. Contest is gonna be great, Ghost Rider. Go, go! Go, go! All right. I never thought I'd see something so cool in a science demonstration. <laughs> I know, right? Especially when that balloon burst in the tank. Man, all that stuff squirted out like blood. Yeah, it was totally gross. Whoa, you really know how to decorate a locker. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Say, you want a dirt bike sticker? I've got an extra one. No, thanks. I'll just have to spend four hours trying to peel it at the end of the year. Ghost Rider. Go, go. What's he saying? It's a rally message. We used to call everyone together on the team when something important is going down. Go, go. What's the L for? Lenny. We've got to get to Lenny's. Come on. I don't know, Jamal. <laughs> Look, Ghost Rider sent a message to you, too. In your locker? You saw it. Come on. Well, so I figure if Scottie Pippen can be back in the very next game on a sprained ankle, I'll be back on the courts in no time. Yeah, so he can twist it again playing hot dog basketball. Hey, hey, I'm no hot dog. I'm a man of skill. Two hours ago, he was a boy in pain. I heard that. Aw, oh, leave him alone, Gabby. It must really hurt. Oh, no, no. It's nothing, really. Tina, go. Go. What's going on? It's a rally at Lenny's. We gotta go.
We're going up to Lane's for a minute, Mama. All right, be careful with that ankle, though. Take your time. Don't worry, Mama. We'll take care of him. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Come on, Lenny, tell us. No, I want to wait for Jamal. Tell us now. Tell him later. Who is it? It's Jamal, open up. Hi. Look who I brought along. Rob. Hey. So, this is Rob. This is my sister Gabby, and this is Tina. Hi. Hi. He received the rally call when I did. And his locker, though. So, are you going to be on the team now? I don't know. Don't worry, he'll come around. What happened to you? Well, I was directly under the basket, right? When I jumped up really, really high above all the other people to snag this offensive rebound. And he twisted it. <laughs> well, I'll be all right anyway. <laughs> so, what's up? That's what we've been trying to figure out. Okay, okay. This is great stuff, you guys. You're gonna love it. I was down at the comic book store when I saw this poster about this new character from Cosmic Comics. His name is Hoodman. Hoodman? Yeah. His real name is Dennis Hudson, and he lives in the hood. Is that short for neighborhood? <laughs> well, duh. Sorry. Anyway. Dennis doesn't like the bad stuff he sees going down in the streets. But he feels like he can't change anything until one day these aliens... Aliens? Yeah, from another galaxy. They suck him right up into their spaceship, and they give him this magic hooded sweatshirt. And when he puts up the hood, he becomes super strong, bulletproof, and really fast. He becomes Hood Man. Okay. So? And he fights injustice, intolerance, and people with bad attitudes. Uh, that's great and all, well, but... Well, there's this contest, see? And all these places you have to go in Brooklyn. What? Huh? It's sort of like a race. Whoever gets to the end first... wins. What end? I don't get it. It's simple. Here are the rules. Oh, and there's this great map. Oh, and I forgot about the special agents. They'll be waiting at each place when you go there to give you... Lenny, some... Lenny, chill, okay? What? Let me get this straight. You called a rally to get us to help you win a race, a contest? Yeah. I thought you said rallies were for important things. They are. This is. Um, I think you have my mother calling me. Yeah, yeah me too. I forgot. I have to study. I'll have to do. Wait a minute, guys. I thought everybody was going to love this. Love it? We don't even know what it is. Yeah, there's places on a map, rules, and this hood man guy. All right. I must have left out something important. How about letting me take one more look? Okay. There's so many important things here. Let's see. I told you about hood man, and about the contest rules, and all the places on the map. And the fact that the winner gets to... Oh, I forgot the most important thing! The prize! The winner gets to star in a comic book! Star in a comic book? Yeah, with Hoodman. Hey, I can go for that. We might even get famous! We've had some superhero adventures of our own. So let's do it. Come on, we could win this thing. Hoodman contest, here we come. Man, this contest is so easy. Comics. This contest is mine, right on down the line, because I know where to go and just who to show. And I stone cold won't be slow. Everybody's stoop dude is here today. So let me hear you say, yay. Oh, 
Okay, guys, we've got to get organized if we're going to win. You got it, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> so where do we start? There's so much stuff. I know, Claude. Claude? Give me a hand, it's heavy. Claude's mom's easel. She named them after her favorite painter, Claude Monet. Every time we move, Dad thinks about giving him away, but we just can't do it. Claude certainly has seen the world. <laughs> so how's he gonna help us win this hood man contest? We can tack stuff up on him. Excellent. Well, you have the contest rules. We're gonna need to look at them a lot. Right. What about these information sheets about the places on the map? There's not enough room for everything. But the map, we should put that up. Okay. What a great map. Yeah. And it's got all the possible places to go in the contest. It's like a treasure hunt. Yeah, you're right. Aquarium, Boathouse, Brooklyn Academy of Music, Coney Island Amusement Park, and President Ship Mar Martyr's Monument. So the rules say that there are going to be four comic book panels in all. Right. And each one has got clues in it that will lead to a different place on the map. And whoever gets to the fourth place first wins the contest? Right. How do we know which place to go to first? We can look for clues in the comic book panel. And we check them on the information sheets. What kind of clues? That's what we've got to figure out. We can handle that. Let's get started. Look at those guys. Hey, Ghost Rider's checking it out, too. Evil-looking dudes, all right. Let's see what it says. Dr. Kill and his thugs burst into a neighborhood museum. This thing's called a wishing stone. Cool. Yeah. Next. This boat is sunk, Dr. Kill. And I've got the wishing stone, Mr. Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> what does his boat is sunk mean? Like he's out cold on the floor. I wonder what Dr. Kill needs a wishing stone for. <laughs> Probably to wish himself a better looking haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's next. Meanwhile, Dennis Hudson's homing device alerts him to trouble. Yeah, that watch on his wrist is glowing. And he puts up his hood, and he becomes Hood Man! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, what clues on this panel will lead us to the first correct location? Some of the words are darker than the others. They're in bold. Bones, boat, hunter, and Walt Whitman. So? Maybe they're in bold because they're more important, as in clues. Right. Boat. What? Boat, boathouse. It's one of the places on the map. All right, Gabby, let's go. Hold it, hold it. What about all the stuff about the places? Who needs it? Yeah, let's just go. Come on, Jamal. Just knew it. I'm first. Am I right or am I right? Excuse me? Greetings! Stoop dudes the name. Winning's a game. Now give me five since I am first to arrive. <laughs> Enough pleasantries. Now can I have my panel printed, please? Are you sure you're 16 or under? You look a little mature for the contest. Well, I'm just big for my age. See, my whole family's big. Take my little brother. He's the size of a minivan and he's only 10. Now how about laying that next panel on me pretty, please, Miss Agent Ma'am? <laughs> What's the big idea? You got here first, but this isn't the right place. Oh, no. And besides, where's your cosmic clue book that lists your clues and shows how they fit together? Oh. Sorry. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. You just work here. No hard feelings, I. Right? But give me some skin, because I'm still going to win. <laughs> Is 
this the second panel? Sorry, kids, but your first panel didn't lead you to the right place. Oh, man. Here, let's see your cosmic clue book. No, not even close. You need to list all the clues and how they fit together. Sorry, guys. We should have looked at our other clues. And it's 5.30. These special agents leave the locations at 6. Come on, we can still do it. Let's meet tomorrow after school. We just got to get into that comic book. Fools! They think they're going to beat the stupendous stoop dude. <laughs> well, they better think again, because I got a mind like a steel trap. Zip, zip, zap! <laughs> Come in. Hey, busy? I was just reading. What do you got? Oh, Red Pony. Good book. I thought you read this one already. Yes, sir. I really like it. Have I told you that there's a youth center in the neighborhood? Yes, sir. And that they've got a really great sports program? Yeah, you've told me. Mm. Well, as you know, it's uh, baseball season, and they've got uh, tryouts all week this week for the baseball team. Baseball. Well, listen, you might at least go over there and check it out, huh? I mean, it's, they've got all kinds of activities going on over there, and who knows, you might meet some guys that are just dying to be your buddies. But I might already have... Okay, Dad. I'll check it out. Okay. Good. See you later. It's Jamal. Sorry I'm late. Where's Rob? I don't know. I waited for him, but he didn't show. Hey, guys! Ghost Rider! What are Thwack and Wham? Huh? Oh, <laughs> he means the comic book words in the starbursts. He doesn't know what they mean. Well, they're not actually real words. Yeah, there are sounds that describe what the thugs are doing. Imagine trying to read a comic book without being able to see the pictures. We ought to tell him what's in them. In the meantime, you better deal with these clues. Bones, Boat, Hunter, and Walt Whitman. What about that skywriting, H and O? That's just skywriting, I think. But why is it there? It could be a clue in code. But they're not in bold. I think we should just stick with our list. Here's information on all the places on the map. Let's see if the words on this list fit in with any of the places. The aquarium, the Coney Island amusement park, Book and Academy of Music, and the Prison Ship Martyrs Monument. Martyrs? You know, 
People who give up their lives for what they believe in? Right. Hey, check this. At Coney Island, there's a bearded lady who swallows a sword. <laughs> <laughs> but what about our clues? Nada. Man, these Mars were something else. They... Hey, wait a minute. I think I've got something. There was a poem written about them. That's great. But what's the clue? Well, it was written by an American poet named Walt Whitman. He's the last clue on our list. What else is there? Let's read the sheet. Here's the word bones. It talks about the bones of the men who died. And there's Hunter, one of their ships. A ship? A boat is like a little ship. Right. Bones. Boat. Hunter. Walt Whitman. The place has got to be. Prison ship modern monuments. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's write these clues down before we go. And how they fit together. Better yet, you better write them on the way there. You guys go on ahead. I'll catch up. Go. Here's our cosmic clue book. Are we in the right place? Let's see now. Bones, boat, hunter, Walt Whitman. A boat is like a ship. Hunter is the name of one of their ships. The bones are the men who died. Walt Whitman wrote a poem about them. Mm-hmm. You got it down, all right. This is it. <laughs> this is the place. Oh, yes. Yes. yes! Way to go! Hey, you mean no confetti? Not a speck. But I do have a brand new panel, number two. Yes! All right! All right. <laughs> <laughs> Shell offs. I deal with you my own special way. After I get my panel, that is. <laughs> Still dues the name, win is the game. I take it I've already been beaten to the first locale. Relax, it's the first person that gets the last location and wins. And that's gonna be me, my man. He just marked my word. Bones, boat, hunting. Walt Whitman. You sure you're 16? It's a hormone thing, all right? And I thank you not to mention it again. How tall is this again? Uh. 148 feet and buried under all our feet in 22 lead coffins are the bones of 11,000 American Revolutionary soldiers. Some were African-American slaves who were free. And slaves that had escaped. Right. Right under our feet? That's kind of spooky. How did they get there? Well, they fought for the American army during the Revolutionary War. They fought without any pay. They were captured by the British and put on a ship in the bay. No light. Call any air or food. They die by the thousands for what they believe in, for freedom. That's why they call them martyrs. They were buried in the sands of the bay, but a lot of their bones washed out of the sand onto the shore. Wow, that's so sad. Finally, after many years, they got a proper burial. And this monument. Yo, special agent. I know we're in the right place because we got all the clues down. Plus, how they fit. We'd like panel number two, please. Uh oh. Competition. <laughs> We're gonna win this, baby! See you behind us! I wouldn't bet on that if I were you!
What in the world? Quit the contest now. Prepare to suffer. Oh, man. This comic is no joke.